Thanks for joining me for this national weather update. For many places, dry, bright and cold sums up the weather for Thursday and Friday. But there are still some spots seeing a few snow showers. This is the view from space. The radar shows we've seen a subtle shift in wind direction, which brought the snow showers into northwest England and north Wales through the morning. They are slipping southwards. Wet weather too across Scotland, rain and sleet at low levels and on the coast, but over reasonably small hills, further snow showers packing in across northern Scotland. The showers becoming more scattered as they head into the Midlands and more central and southern parts of Wales, with many places staying dry. But say where we do see showers, they could still have a wintry mix of sleet and snow, at least for a time. Generally, though, dry and bright with sunny spells for the majority. It still feels pretty cold out there. Temperatures only three or four degrees Celsius, maybe six or seven in the southwest. But uh, again, there is a, a brisk breeze blowing in places, particularly in the southwest and across northern Scotland, where the showers will continue to feed in tonight. And it could therefore turn quite icy. We'll have showers for parts of Northern Ireland, particularly in the north and wherever we've seen showers through the day today. That could lead to things being very slippery again on the road. So we do have ice warnings in place overnight. Again, for many central and eastern parts, it's just going to be dry, clear and cold with temperatures in towns and cities, minus two, minus three, rural spots lower than that. Could also turn foggy in a few places, particularly across parts of Northern Ireland. And that fog may stick around for much of Friday. We'll also have these winds picking up down the east coast and they could just throw a few showers just grazing easternmost areas. Uh, a mixture of sleet and hail in some of those showers likely too. But most places just dry and sunny on Friday and further west and further north the winds will be a lot lighter than they have been as well. So a sparkling crisp winter's day if you like. As I said, just a few showers in the east and the potential for some stubborn fog patches, particularly for Northern Ireland. If the fog sticks, temperatures are not going to get much above freezing, but most places just creeping up a degree or so, five or six Celsius. Quite quickly on Friday evening, the temperatures will plummet and the blue takes hold of the chart once more. It is going to be another frosty night. And again, we could see some more fog patches as we head into Saturday morning. Another subtle, sh slow shift this weekend. This bank of rain up to the northwest, that is a weather front. And that's important because behind these weather fronts, there's some milder air, which will very slowly, as these weather fronts encroach, start to lift the temperatures across some parts of the UK this weekend. Notice by Sunday, the orange colours, much milder air into much of Scotland and Northern Ireland, but the blue still cold across East Anglia and the southeast. The milder air probably not reaching here until we get into next week. But it is slowly turning milder from the northwest. It'll also be turning cloudier with a little bit of rain. We'll have a full weekend forecast available on our YouTube channels come Thursday afternoon. So hit subscribe and then you won't miss it.